Hello students. Okay, what we're going to do is finish off this little series on algebra and geometry by giving you these two questions to try on your own please. So stop the video, have a go, and when you finished, restart the video and we'll check your answers. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, now what we have to use up here is the fact that this is a quadrilateral and all the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. So I can write this equation, 7i plus 8 plus 2i plus i plus i adds to 360 degrees. And the reason we know that is all the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360. Okay, now let's use some algebra to solve this equation. So let's add the like terms. 7i plus 2i is 9i, 10i, 11i, plus 8 adds to 360. Oops, not that yet. Getting ahead of myself. The next thing I do is subtract 8 from both sides. Uh, plus 8 minus 8 goes to 0, so that disappears. That leaves 352. Divide both sides by 11. And I, if you do that little calculation, I comes out to be 32 degrees. Okay, now once we know that, we can use that to work out the size of the angles. I'll just try to scroll a little bit more carefully. So therefore, 7i plus 8 is 7 by 32 plus 8. And if you do that calculation, you end up with 232 degrees. 2 times i, well 2 times 32 is just 64 degrees. And each of the other two, which are equal to i degrees, is 32 degrees. So that's the size of the four angles. And the next thing we want to do is check that, just to finish off. And we can do that by simply adding the four angles. So 232 plus 64 plus 32 plus 32. And if you add up all of that, it does come to... 360 degrees. So therefore, those are the size of the unknown angles. Okay, let's have a look at the last of the questions. Now, because we have these two ticks there, that means this is an isosceles triangle, and it means we can write 2b plus 4 down there. I'll try to write that a bit more neatly as well. 2b plus 4. Okay, all the angles of a triangle add to 180. So we can say 6b take 8 plus 2b plus 4 plus 2b plus 4. All of that adds to 180. So 6b plus 2b plus 2b. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So 10b. Now minus 8 plus 4 plus 4, well that's 8 minus 8, that just goes to 0. And we get the equation 10b equals 180. Divide both sides by 10. And b equals 18 degrees. So we've solved the equation. Now let's work out the size of the angles. So we can say, therefore, 2b plus 4, well, that's going to be 2 times 18 plus 4. Well, 2 times 18 is 36 plus 4 is 40 degrees. So each of those is going to be 40 degrees. And 6b take 8, 6b take 8 equals 6 times 
18 take 8. Well, 318s I know is 54, so 618s is 108. Take away 8 leaves just 100 degrees. And to do the check, all we have to do is see if two of those plus one of those adds to 180. You've probably already done that in your head. So we can say 40 plus 40 plus 100 equals 180. And therefore, we know that our two answers are correct. And that is all we're going to do with geometry, um, at least this year.